I'm a guy sitting in a room talking to a camera while my wife plays Animal Crossing. <laughs> and the other boys are eating. There you go. Be completely accurate with that one. I haven't shot a vlog in a while, so I'm going to do it now. I'm waiting on the middle son to finish eating his pizza pizza so we can roll out tonight. We're going to swing by Meyer Music, pick up my violin and viola since they were being repaired, and then probably get some dinner. Should be fun. One more time. I'm going to sing, eat my lunch, dinner. My dad's being good. <laughs> ah, he tried to escape. Got him anyway. <laughs> that hurt me a lot more than probably hurt you. Probably. It smells like rain. Mm. Really bad. No, rain happens. Summer's not quite over yet, but it's definitely coming close. <laughs> Summer's the best season ever. I prefer fall, where it's cool. And there aren't so many bugs, but you can still go outside. Unlike winter, where it's cool, there are no bugs, and the ground's covered in ice. And you walk outside with no gloves and stuff, you get frostbite. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Ha ha ha! Come on up here, you said you want to tell your joke. You see, it's always hot in Grand Rapids, isn't it? Like, the hottest place in the world, like, it's like over 9,000 degrees. Yeah, that's so, it's like always hot here, like, I don't know why we don't just live on a beach, but that'd be awesome because it's always hot here. But it's not always hot here. Exactly. It's about to get to like below zero next week. Exactly. It's like the hottest place in the world, isn't it? That's the joke, isn't it? Is that the joke? Yes, yeah, the hottest place in the world. Hmm. Yeah. It's the hottest place in the world. There we are. We dropped off Mr. Uh, Super Jokes there. And, uh, and now we're over at Laguna Mexican La Restaurant. Laguna. La Laguna Mexican Restaurant because they have good food, although it might be too spicy for them, for someone. Just that one. It might be too, but it, it. I won't get this stuff cooked in jalapenos this time. Whatever it was, it was good either way. It was delicious. <laughs> Just maybe a little spicy. Anyway, day night. Day night. <laughs> but I do have a joke for you that uh -oh. it can't go on there. <laughs> That's really messed up. All right, so we're back in the house. Um, I'm kind of excited. I got my violin and my viola back from Meyer Music. Um, I basically took them in specifically because you don't know what you don't know. And the cello needed some needed a seam reglued, and it had issues with the sound post. So taking that in and getting that fixed week one was probably an idea. The more and more I was playing the viola and the violin, I started to realize that maybe I didn't know what to look for like I would with the bass. So I decided to just take them in and have them kind of give them a once over and, and let me know if they were in playing condition. Um, one thing they did on the viola is they, I'd already put new strings on it. So one thing they did on the viola was they actually put the bridge, they repaired a, a crack in the bridge and actually repositioned it, which actually does change the way it plays. They re-glued a seam on the violin they fixed the sound post, um, and then I had them put strings on that one too, just to kind of get that up to the point. So they definitely play better. The violin, the one recommendation was that I would maybe look into investing in a new bow for it, which I kind of agree with anyway. 
But uh, really kind of interesting. I actually want to show you the viola a little bit here. So interesting things on the viola. Get that to focus there. Is if you look right here, you can see where the bridge was sitting. I don't know if that shows up well on the camera. That's right where the bridge was sitting when I got the viola. And they moved it back a little bit. And that basically makes it a little easier for me to play and actually stay between the fingerboard and the bridge. And that's quite a distance there. Um, but other than that, it's still the same viola. I think they kind of gave it the, the seal of approval there um, so I can continue to learn and grow on it. Um, it does actually, just considering the way it played before for me, and the way it plays now, it is definitely uh, an improvement. So there you go. Make sure your bridge is in the right spot. this weekend since I took my viola in to be examined but um, I'm glad to have it back um, feels like they may have polished it up it just feels feels new smells new and I, I really kind of like that so um, short vlog this week day night with the wife hit the restaurant um, got to play around get the viola back having a good time um, <laughs> anyway, oh, oh, interesting things. It turns out I have 50 subscribers to this channel, which is amazing for me. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I have no idea what to do, but I guess it's a milestone. So 50 subscribers. Thanks for, for checking out my videos. Thanks for, for your support. Um, very small, very small, but small but mighty. I enjoy what I do. I enjoy making these videos. I enjoy talking to this camera. I enjoy making music in all the forms. Um, I got more in me and just I need to to get it out there and I appreciate you coming with me on this journey. So to the 50 of you who are who watch my videos, thanks. Um, I don't know how many videos I made. I probably should look that up. Anyway, here's to the next. Anyway. I'll see you in the next one.